Hey there, Tyler here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share and discuss with you of how to prevent and or slow down the corrosion process of a BMW E46 when it comes to the rear wheel arches here. As we all know, they love to rust here, starting at this corner back here typically. I'm going to show you some key access plugs in which you can remove and apply your own cavity wax so you can fill this whole wheel arch. There's also some key spots by the fuel filler door here in which I'm going to show you how to prevent corrosion that happens due to that location. So let's get right into it. And here we are with one of my parts car E46s. As you can see, the rear wheel arch is beginning to rot out. Now BMW uses very little to no cavity wax inside of this valley here. This is just a big hollow channel between two pieces of metal. So, uh, you know, over the course of 20 plus years, all it takes is a little bit of uh, dampness and moisture to collect from the backside and get, and get inside to begin rotting this from the inside out. Hence why the paint is flaking off. There's also some key parts behind this fuel filler door here, which I'm going to show you that can cause the rust at this part. But first, allow me to show you those accessible plugs inside of here so you can spray your, spray your own cavity wax in there. Okay, so we're now below my primary project car here. I'm going to show you those plugs which you can remove to apply your cavity wax. We're going to attack this wheel liner first. We're going to remove this wheel liner to get us access to in here as well. But for now, we're going to pop these three plugs out here, here, and here. The plugs appear like this. Now, if you do end up breaking these or tearing them, you can still buy them brand new from BMW, and I'll link them in, in the description, okay? But yeah, you're, gonna, you're going to pop those plugs out. We're then going to apply our cavity wax and just spray it through every hole, trying to really fill in that void between those two pieces of metal. I really wanted my, my wax to, to begin flowing down here. So I sprayed a lot in here so it would just flow, fill in this whole cavity, okay? We're also going to apply our cavity wax, obviously, to the exterior surfaces. As you can see, it, it's that orange material. I have the entire wheel arch filled with it running down there. And I will show you what I used here in a few, mo in a few moments. We're also going to apply some to the bracketry of the filler neck and stuff like that. We're also going to remove the little brackets for the rear bumper, which appear like this. They bolt there with a 10 millimeter. We're going to pop those out as well to get our wax behind its location, which is right there. Now, when it comes to the filler neck, we're also going to see rust forming on this bracket here. Right here is a little weep hole for whenever water fills up this boot, it's going to drip out of here. Now, I also suspect water to drip directly onto this bracket tree and to flow down this way, rotting this all out. So I'm also going to put like a brass barb in there or a plastic barb fitting and route my own drain hose down here somewhere. That's also going to be a key cause of rust forming in here because that freaking drain in a very dumb spot. I'm also going to apply some cavity wax or I already did follow my suffering, my suffering reinforcement, which was my last video. I sprayed it all through here. I, already ha I did have new plugs in here, as you can see the seam sealer but I thought that was kind of dumb, so I popped them back out because I wanted to spray cavity wax all through here, mainly because we were, we were just welding. I, don't, I do not want corrosion to begin happening on the inside of the body, so this is all now filled with cavity wax too from those plugs. These are also the same size as those plugs. I believe they're to 20 millimeter. Like I said, I'll, I'll link them in the description, okay? I'm going to show you some other key areas which are going to cause rust, This, which is also going to rust this whole lip from the outside. And then I'll show you the product I used. Now working outside at the fuel door location, we're going to open up the fuel door. We're going to remove the filler cap. We're also going to take the rubber boot in which snaps onto this outer dish and seals this. We're going to recess it and push it in to expose this valley or void right here. That runs down directly into the body of the car. So whenever your boot begins ripping or cracking, water is free to drip down inside and enter directly into the body of the car. Not only into the trunk area, but also to this seam here. So once again, we're going to take our cavity wax and spray it in there as deep as we can to really try to fill this void and channel. We're then going to reinstall our boot, check for any cracks around the ring of it, 
If it is cracked, I'm simply going to use black RTV on it or some kind of silicone. I'm sure you can also buy this boot new from BMW, but in my case, it's better just to RTV because it's, it's barely cracked. Here is the product of choice for this little project. I'm using fluid film. This is an excellent product. It's been around for a very long time. It is fortified of wool's wax. So wherever you spray it, it's going to just kind of build up and really stick to the surface. All that orangey stuff you see underneath the car clinging, that is fluid film, okay? It works great for cavity wax. Also, a small pro tip to get into those hard to reach crevices in which you'd have to invert your can almost impossibly, we're going to just put a small bend at the end of the, the hose so we can get into those hard to reach places and just kind of fan it to really fill in those crevices. So yeah, I'm now going to spray some fluid film into that crevice I showed you on the filler neck location for this car. Then I'm going to put the plugs back in and call this a job done. We're also going to obviously, we're going to do both sides because those plugs exist on both sides of the car. So I, I've already went ahead and filled this whole wheel arch with fluid film, the, the wax, whatever you want to call it. And there we have it. Once we have all the cavities filled with the wax or rust inhibitor, we're going to put the plugs back in and call that job well done. If you found the following footage to be useful for you, feel free to subscribe to my channel as I highly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.